what is criteria to get PR? The criteria to get uh, uh, residency. Uh, so PR is like the second stage. The first stage is to get a resident visa. And after you live in New Zealand for a period of time and you show your commitment to the country, then the resident visa becomes a permanent resident visa. So it's actually a two-step process. A lot of you tend to call it PR, which is like a direct jump to the end goal, but it actually occurs in two separate stages. So yeah, the process is quite simple. You need to analyze your points for your age, qualification, work experience, uh, you know, uh, which industry that work experience was in. Did you study in New Zealand? If you're married, what is your spouse qualification, so on and so forth. So when we add up all those points, it needs to come to 160 points. Uh, but there are two important criteria to be met besides getting the 160 points. Criteria one, you need to have either skilled employment in New Zealand uh, or a job of a job offer for a skilled employment in New Zealand. And criteria number two, you should have studied in New Zealand for uh, two years and uh, have either a master's or a, a PhD, a doctorate. So these are the two. So 160 points and a job offer or skilled employment in New Zealand or studied in New Zealand for two years with a master's or PhD. And so that is a criteria. So in case you're outside New Zealand and you don't have a job offer, nor have you studied here for two years and gotten a master's or a PhD, then uh, if you're still getting the points, then the immigration department normally gives something called, uh, subject to their verification and checks, they give something called the skill migrant category uh, job search visa, which allows you to come into the country for one year and be able to find a job. When you find a job, of course, you take that uh, first condition, which says that you have skilled employment in New Zealand, and that's how we get your um, uh, PR, uh, uh, you get your residency, and after you stay in New Zealand for a period of time and fulfill certain conditions, then you get your permanent residency. These conditions are not very difficult. The easiest way to prove your commitment to New Zealand is to stay in New Zealand for two years and for a minimum period of six months in the first year and six months in the second year, approximately, and then you get your permanent residency. <music>